Good Health Today, you know how important it is to store medication securely away from children. But you may be overlooking two potentially dangerous products that most of us have in our homes right now. Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with a new warning, Doc. Well, Devin and Kimberly, the FDA is warning the public to be careful about children coming into contact with some key ingredients in eye drops and nasal sprays. Now, we don't generally think of these as medications, but they can be dangerous if swallowed, even in very small amounts. The FDA says children under five are a particular risk for severe health complications from accidentally ingesting eye drops or nasal sprays. That's because over-the-counter products like these contain tetrahydrazoline, oxymetazoline, or nifazoline. In eye drops or nasal sprays, those ingredients work to compress blood vessels, getting rid of redness or swelling and inflammation. The FDA says the products have not been linked to any deaths in children, but serious events requiring hospitalization have occurred with a dose tinier than a teaspoon. When the medication is put in your eye, it makes the eyes less red because it makes the blood vessels become smaller. But when you drink the medication, it can affect your heart rate, your breathing, sometimes your consciousness, your behavior. And so the smaller the patient, so children have a much smaller mass, much smaller weight than when they drink the drop. They're getting a higher amount in their body. Experts say the same warning applies for pets. The ingredients can be in generic or brand name products. And remember, since these drops and sprays don't come with childproof packaging, you do need to be extra cautious about keeping these in purses, on tables, or anywhere within reach. Now, this is a really good reminder that a lot of things that people think of as harmless, like eye drops, vitamins, and so on, are definitely not in the hands of a curious child or pet. And if a child accidentally swallows eye drops or nasal spray, you should call the poison helpline at 1-800-222-1222 and seek emergency care right away. And it helps think about this in a different way around the holidays. Right. A lot of people showing up to a lot of houses, right? Yeah, definitely. You know, they're showing up at, at people's houses and then they're getting into people's things. So you have to pay <laughs> attention to that kind of thing. Poison control, in fact, says they see an increase in calls around the holidays from kids that drink leftover cups of alcohol that are left sitting around or getting into holiday decorations or guests' purses that are left sitting on the floor. Parents just need to be vigilant because if there are curious kids around, they will find a way to get yeah. into things. Yeah, but nasal spray and eye drops, two things that I would never. Yeah, think of. right, no, exactly. Because no, right, they don't right. seem like they taste good. Not that I've ever tried tasting no, them, but they just. But to a know. child, you know, you're yeah, just so. experimenting. Yeah. Yeah. I also speak from bad experience, so I'm glad you mentioned pets. Yeah. Last Christmas, with the, well, all of a sudden, all the chocolate the caramels Hershey's were gone. Oh, it, was, it, was, it was the yes, and my, my wonderful vet it managed to take a call on Christmas Eve at midnight from the Skillions. You got to watch that. Good old yep. Topanga found him. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Doc. Sure.